And to all those affected, I want to say, we are deeply sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Sorry. Yo, Ubisoft issued an apology. I'm late on this because, like I said before, once you wait, the good stuff starts to come out. And boy, is there a lot of good shit that came out. We're gonna talk about it all in this video, but first, what I wanna do is I wanna go over this bullshit apology, corporate ass, BP South Park ass apology. This is literally an I'm sorry for damage control sake. This is not even an apology. I read this already front to back, but I'm gonna go through this with y'all so I can chime in and basically call out exactly why this apology is full of shit and the reason why they're getting tore up from this apology. I don't know why they thought this was gonna save them. It doesn't even make any sense, but here we are. They had to do it because the biggest lie that they told, and I was on this shit when I first started. Let me show you guys something right quick. This is a post that I did two months ago. Now this is gonna tie everything together on why I feel this way about this apology. I feel like it's full of shit. No, I know it's full of shit because I know how corporate people act and I know how they work. This is straight damage control. And the people who's sucking Ubisoft's dick right now because they think DEI, well, they're trying to change the language. We're gonna, we're gonna get into all that shit in this video because I know exactly what's going on right now. So just in case you guys are confused, the climate is shifting. This is the reason why, watch this. So if you guys remember when Assassin's Creed first got announced with the first trailer, people were trying to spin the narrative. And this is how easy to me, this is how evil the media is, depending on if it's IGN, fucking Kotaku, and their likes, right? They're all the same, but they're evil because they try to miss, well, they try to boost up their side to make it seem like it's not that bad. And they did this with Assassin's Creed two months ago when they first showed that trailer. We all knew that this game was gonna be shit the moment we saw the trailer. This is what was happening at the very beginning. I'm just gonna show you something right quick. This is half the picture, right? But we, we all can see, right? This guy actually, this guy posted this when it first dropped. He literally said Assassin's Creed Shadows pre-orders are looking very strong, right? At the very beginning, without giving no numbers or anything like that, right? So I already knew it was bullshit because what the media try to do to, you know, to, because I already know this, this shit is heavily influenced by DEI and, you know, ESG all throughout this game. So what they're... What they have to do is they have their media allies go in as soon as something happened and they just flood it through the roof. They just flood it with, with a bunch of false misinformation shit that regular people are not going to search up and not going to look up and try to fact check them on. Because if you see this and you're just a normal person, nine to five gamer and stuff like that, you're not a part of the industry. You're just looking at this like, oh, Assassin's Creed's pre order is looking pretty strong and he got a blue check mark too. It must be true. So you're not thinking about that because you're not going to do no research. This is how easy these people can influence people like the ones who be in my fucking comment section saying this bullshit, right? You end up getting comments like this when you have a bunch of misinformation bullshit going on. This happens when people do not do research. When they just take these, what these journalists say at face value, you get statements like this. That's why, that's why it takes for people like me to come in and take the hits, because I already know you guys are gonna get pissed, the ones who just want Assassin's Creed to be good, because they're just nine to five workers. They don't really do this shit like I do behind the scenes. They're not a part of the industry. They don't have their ear on the ground where they got people in the industry telling you this type of shit. They're nine to five people. So they don't really know what's really going on. They just don't wanna hear bad shit about their products that they're looking forward to. That's why they come after me. So that's why I say shit like this. I say, I find it hilarious that people are going with this Assassin's Creed Shadows pre-orders are, so, are strong narrative, with with absolutely zero evidence just so they can say take that racism search it for 40 minutes to find any numbers on these supposed strong pre-orders and nothing comes up which i have i'm still doing it now still can't find the numbers the only thing i see is this tom henderson guy being used as proof being used as a proof statement in every single game journalist article like he's their sole reference point and it's odd how they all use the same headline they've been using his headline since the beginning two months ago for three weeks straight, like he was the sole proprietor on the information just coming from him and they used that as fact and they just reshared it everywhere. Everybody did. So everybody who's a nine to five worker is gonna believe that this is true. So when you're seeing people like me come out and, and basically talking about it, 
You're like, hold up a second. Th this guy actually said it was good. And this other guy actually said that statement too. No, they're repeating it from the same source and they're resharing it over and over and over again to make it seem like it's coming from 60 different places. So you got 60 different places of credibility. It's false. It's straight bullshit. It started there, right? And this is the reason why they have to do an apology. Is because if your game was doing that good, if that many people actually liked your game, like how you said they do, and Japanese people didn't have an issue with it, you would have no need to do this apology at all. This is a waste of time. If it's successful, your numbers should speak for you. This is all common sense here. So anybody who is on the fence, who's trying to figure out why we're talking about this, why we have an issue about it, I'm gonna say this again, I'm gonna, and this is it. Do y'all fucking research and pay attention to the numbers and where shit comes from. Otherwise, Stop talking about it because you have no clue what you're talking about. And I've said this before. I don't understand how people who have zero knowledge on situations find them very comfortable in chiming in on something they have nothing, no clue about. I find it very odd, but this started because of internet culture. Everybody think they got a voice, so they think they could just voice it with no backing, no opinion, no credibility, and no nothing. It's just weird to me, though, for real. But we're going to read this apology, and I'm going to go over why this is actually stupid. Ubisoft said, to our esteemed Japanese community, which they don't give a fuck about, like a message from the Assassin's Creed Shadows development team. Here we go. First, we want to express our heartfelt thanks for all your support for the Assassin's Creed series, which now has its own history spanning. You notice how they're using, pay attention to these words they're going to use. They're going to start using own because they got to separate themselves from the history that they're actually propagating them, right? They got to separate themselves completely because they're trying to go with this, oh, it's fiction narrative now. Over this time, we have explored various settings, time periods, and characters from an assassin um, during the Third Crusade to a Viking in 9th century England. Every single one of these characters were their ethnicity to where it was based in. That's why nobody had an issue with Assassin's Creed Valhalla plus the Third Crusade game. Nobody give a, gave a shit because all these places you went to, you put their native person, kind of like a mascot, right? Like if you're making a game that's called Assassin's Creed and you go into different countries, globe trotting, right? Why? I don't understand how you do this with every other game when it comes to their mascots, right? Like if you made a game in Italy, I'm pretty sure the main character is going to be Italian. If you made a game in France, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a French guy. If you make it in Africa, it's going to be an African guy. If you make it in, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the list goes on. This is the first time y'all ever did this. And y'all went to Japan and the mascot representing the game that you're globe trying in, which is Japanese culture. You chose to put a black guy and you chose. And the reason why you didn't feel confident in doing this is because you added a second character that was actually Asian. Y'all know what y'all doing. Then they say like for many of our team, creating an Assassin's Creed game set in feudal Japan has been a long cherished dream for everybody, literally. Since the announcement of Assassin's Creed Shadows, we have received many positive reactions. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. But also some criticism. Notice how they got to minuscule it. They got to minimize it though. Watch this though. But also some criticism included from you, our Japanese players. We shared the, we share your passion for history and deeply respect your care for for the historical and cultural integrity of your rich heritage get the fuck out of here because you wouldn't have hired her we're sorry you're lying this is all damage control this is this is straight corporate jargon for real we would like to address a few points to clarify our intentions and creative decisions this is where it's going to get funny we have put significant effort into ensuring an immersive and respectful representation of feudal Japan. No, they did not just... How can you say this with a straight... How can you write this shit and not just feel like a piece of shit? However, like, so our intention has never been to present any of our Assassin's Creed games, including Assassin's Creed Shadows, as factual representations of history or historical characters. Instead, we aim to spark curiosity and encourage players to explore and learn more about the historical settings we get inspired by. Y'all are full of shit, cause you know why? See, this is why like they hate people like me, because I'm just not gonna just sit back and just let you lie. Watch this. If there was ever a gift that keeps on gifting, it's Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, this individual right here, Thomas Lockley, he's an associate professor at Nihon University College of Law in Tokyo. He teaches courses about international and multicultural history of Japan and East Asia. But most importantly, he's the reason why Yusuke is at the forefront of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Yeah, all of the story about Yusuke is because of this guy. He's the one that has pushed him into some kind of legendary figurehead of DEI. And guess what? It's been realized that he has edited the Britannica article of Yusuke as well as being a consultant for Assassin's Creed Shadow. So this guy started it all. And just like what he said before, 
He's actually a consultant too, a secret consultant that nobody even knows about. People don't even say his name, but guess what? He's being called out by Japan like crazy now because guess what? All those people who kept on saying, oh, he's a samurai, he's X, Y, Z, all this type of shit, right? And you're saying that factually. That's why I said y'all nine to five workers who just chime into these conversations and have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. I think you need to shut the fuck up for real because y'all literally look stupid. That's why when you be in my comment section, I just be laughing. I'm like, oh, here's another bot. He's not going to do his research. He's just going to argue because he feels emotional about it. I'm through going back and forth with y'all because it's just going to be another one. Y'all like Cerberus. You cut one head off, another one's going to pop. It's boring at this point. So if you're not going to do your research, fine. Keep talking shit, comment, whatever the fuck, and boost me up in the algorithm. I don't get, I don't give a fuck. That's who that guy was, and that's where it's actually, um, where it's at right now, and that's the reason why this is full of shit. Then they said, yes, yeah, so our team extensively collaborated with external consultants, historians, researchers, and internal teams at Ubisoft Japan to inform our creative choices. Now, you know why this is the most offensive? This is the most offensive part right here, down here, because I made maybe four videos on this, right? And for those who've seen me before who actually watched my shit before, you know that this statement right here is the stupidest statement that they could have ever wrote. Because the shit that they got wrong during the promotional period of this game is just, un like, it doesn't even make any sense. I had to figure out the last video that they had a base of Japan because I'm like, there is no way in hell that they're getting, that, they're, that they didn't realize that they stole the flag that they had the wrong kanji characters on the box that they sent to streamers. And the fact that they had a consultant, Sachi, who's not even really Japanese, who's strictly there just because of the LGBT and the, the minor aspect of it though, the, the weirdo shit. That's the only reason why she's there. Y'all did zero work when it comes to consultancy, zero. And every single one of your consultants aren't really from Japan, because guess what? Japan wouldn't have an issue. It wouldn't have been took into court. So this statement right here is full of shit. That's the worst but I think it gets worse. Despite these sustained efforts, we acknowledge that some elements in our promotional materials have caused concern within the Japanese community. For this, we sincerely apologize. Concerns, you straight up did dumb shit. Like you didn't even talk to nobody. It's not even concern. It's like offensive. And then they say, yeah, see all the game footage presented so far is in development. Plus the game will keep evolving until launch. It's basically gonna be dead beyond that point. I don't think, there's really much they can change. You can't take away the main character. There's really nothing you can do besides just releasing the game and having it fail or just ask the project as a whole. I don't see what you can, what you can do because the game is so far along right now that you would have to literally do internal shit, which takes a lot of time when it comes to game design stuff. Based on the constructive criticism we have received, we will continue our efforts until we put this game into your hands and beyond. Nobody's gonna play this shit besides the casuals and that's it. We also want to clarify that while we have been consulting with many people throughout the development process, stop saying that shit. They are in no way responsible for the decisions that are t that are taken by the creative teams, like in the interest of gameplay and entertainment. So they're trying to separate themselves and basically, this was on everybody, literally. Because if you ask them, I'm pretty sure because most of these people who watch me or watch any other platforms is you know like people who talk about this stuff you guys don't know what happens behind the scenes when they actually talk to consultants and they try to you know go back and forth and be like hey is this accurate enough is this such and such i'm pretty sure they show them a previous version of this otherwise the people who consulted on this i will fucking sue them if you're if you're a good consultant let's say they talk to actual japanese people who actually you know were consultants for this project right and they signed off on this and they got paid for consulting them, right? I wouldn't even want my name attached to this if I seen anything that they did with this game recently. I'll be like, nope, I don't want you, I don't want my name on this. Matter of fact, I'm suing you because you took my word and you and you completely changed it into something that's offensive to my people now. I know this is a lie. This is a straight lie. Otherwise, you'd be seeing so many people trying to separate themselves, including the consultants who should come out and be, hey, listen, we had nothing to do with this. I'm ashamed of Ubisoft. I, I jumped on here to be a consultant and they actually changed and spun my words and made it into some offensive towards my people. None of that's coming out right now. That's how I know you're full of shit. You didn't consult nobody. You consulted zero people. Consequentially, we respectfully request that any criticism not be directed at our collaborators, both internal and external. Sorry, too late. Mr. Lockie's getting plenty of shit already, so I don't think that statement is gonna save him. This is where they go on to the whole um, protect ourselves legally type things, right? Because they're going to creative liberty. When you start using, um, when you start seeing companies use things like creative liberties, historical inspirations, these type of words are meant to protect yourself from legal purposes, right? Because 
They know from the beginning they didn't have this narrative. This narrative was not there at all because they kept trying to, t they thought that he was legit. So they based it off of his shit, calling it historical accuracy, saying that he was a samurai, that he was this X, Y, and Z, and all that sh shit turns out to be false from this guy. So now they gotta start using language like this. While we strive for authenticity in everything we do, that we do, no you don't. Oh wait, if you do, then how come you ended up with this? <laughs> And now all of a sudden it's fiction. Assassin's Creed games are works of fiction inspired by real historical events and, fi and figures. From its inception, the series has taken creative license and incorporated fantasy elements, yes y'all have, to craft engaging and immersive experiences. The representation of Yusuke in our game is an illustration of this. No, it's not. Y'all didn't present him as that at first. Y'all doing that now because y'all have to cover y'all ass. His unique and mysterious life made him an ideal candidate. No, it didn't. ESG did in DEI. To tell an Assassin's Creed story with the setting of feudal Japan as a backdrop. While Yusuke is depicted as a samurai in Assassin's Creed Shadows, we acknowledge that this is a matter of debate and discussion. Now it's a matter of debate and discussion now. You see why I don't like Ubisoft? And you see why, I, bro, I don't like liars. I really don't. I don't like when people just straight up lie to people's face. And you know how many people is going to eat this up? Or there's people right now who's basically saying Ubisoft didn't have to apologize for it at all. Y'all don't know. Shut the fuck up. I, I would be so, bro, I would take this shit. If I was Japanese, I would literally take this shit all the way to the top, bro. Because these guys are lying through the ass now it's a matter of a debate get the fuck out of here we have went we have woven this carefully into our narrative like and with our um with our other lead character who's just there just because they have to put a japanese person because they know people is just gonna come on now the japanese shinobi whatever the fuck who is equally important in the game our dual protagonists provide players with different gameplay styles. She's not equally important. She's only there strictly for DEI too, because she's a woman. You didn't have him be partnered with a Japanese man strictly because you have to, they're trying to make everything female. And this is all ESG and, and DEI. If it's not a straight white male, they gotta get rid of that and put a woman. This shit should just be common sense by now, y'all. For like, like this is like beating a dead horse. <laughs> this is literally beating a dead horse. We greatly value your feedback. No, you don't. And encourage you to continue sharing your thoughts respectfully. That shit is gone. That's done. While we understand that meeting everyone's expectations is very difficult, we sincerely hope that when Assassin's Creed Shadows launches on November 15th, players in Japan and around the world would appreciate the dedication, effort, and passion we have poured into. This shit is done and over. This apology was basically worthless. This apology was worthless because you lied straight through here and y'all clearly don't give a shit because guess what? Yusuke is still going to be there to the very end. To the very end. And the amount of shit that y'all did during this promotional process and the fact that you had people telling us from Ubisoft, hey, this is all racism involved. Y'all are basically pouring gasoline on that fire, on that whole racist shtick. Acting like that was the only thing that we had an issue with was the fact that he was a black person. That's not the reason why. It's the fact that y'all said something and did something completely different. And the fact that too, it's disappointing that Assassin's Creed, the first outing on Assassin's Creed wasn't from an Asian man when every other Assassin's Creed game that was in that setting, that was in their setting, their mascot was that race or is that ethnicity. Why is it different here? Oh, I know why. Let's go to Assassin's Creed Africa and put a white South African male there and see how that goes. It's not going to go well, is it? So I don't know why people act stupid. I don't know why people act like, oh, we don't have it. We don't have a reason. And it's all from the same people. It's all for people who are protecting the machine, which is this. And there's people who are nine to five people who just want to like something that they thought they were supposed to like. So they get mad at people like me for spoiling their fun. That's all it is. So yeah, I wanted to go over this apology. I thought it was full of shit. And um, <laughs> no, I don't think it's full of shit. I know it's full of shit. And this guy is a big reason on why this is the case. And the fact that DEI exists and they got to meet certain criteria for their, you know, for their stories and shit like that. So that's the reason why. Apology did absolutely nothing but made it worse. It's sad. But there's one other thing I want to show y'all guys right quick because I want to show y'all what they're doing with this term DEI. And this is how smart these journalists are, right? Remember when I was talking about at the beginning how these journalists are fucking evil because they prey on people's ignorance on not doing no research, right? 95% of people who this type of stuff on the internet and just information in general on the internet. I'm pretty sure you guys know this. 95% of people do zero fact checking. Zero fact checking or research, they don't they don't do it because they don't have time to do it. Most people who live life, they just go about their day. They go shopping, they, they work from nine to five or for whatever shift they work, come home, probably got kids, a wife, or whatever the fuck, right? You guys are not a part of this like we are every day. I'm actually part of this industry. I'm an artist myself who actually had a chance to be in the industry and who actually worked with the industry from a freelancer perspective. So I know what's going on. That's the reason why I'm saying the shit that I'm saying. I'm not drama farming. 
I'm doing this shit on purpose because I know what's going on because I actually feel this way. And plus, I got a, I got a big Japanese audience anyway. So there's one more thing I want to show you, and this is going to explain what they're doing right now. And this is going to blow your mind. You're going to start to see this everywhere now. I want you guys to pay attention to this. For people who know what DEI is, and we know that it's an issue, this is the narrative that is that you're going to see very soon being all over the internet. I'm just, I'm just warning y'all right now. So all the people who talk about DEI and, you know, ESG, they're going to try to spin a narrative because they know it's an issue now, especially what happened in America with the assassination attempt, right? They're really questioning DEI and shit in general. So they're, so now, since everybody knows the issue and they really want DEI anyway, because all the woke people want DEI. So they have to make it seem like the people who are accusing and have an issue with DEI, they have to equate it with negativity now in order for people to be like, oh, anybody who say they're against DEI, they just mean what this is right here. So because I can say it because I'm black, they really want you to believe that this is the new term for people actually calling you a That's basically what they want you to do. So they want you to equate this word to the N word because that's what you're actually trying to say by saying DEI. You're basically a racist because you don't want to know, you know, representation or inclusion. This narrative is going to spread around like wildfire. Mark your calendar right now. I'm saying it today. What time is it? Oh yeah, it is the 27th. I guarantee you from this day forward, you're going to hear news stations talk about this. You're going to see it all on Twitter. And you're going to see this shit from every fucking body you talk. You're going to start seeing casual people talk about DEI now. They're going to equate that word to you basically saying, the N, you know, like the N word because you're racist. This is going to be some scary shit that's going to be happening, y'all, for real. So just be warned. This is not the end of it. This is the beginning. This is the start. I'm not going to stop talking because I don't give a fuck. So there's not really much they can actually say about me. And that's the reason why I'm saying there needs to be more black people speaking up about this shit because this is the only reason why this is acceptable for them to do this is because they think only white people have an issue with DEI. They don't realize that black people have an issue with it too, but there's not a lot of black people speaking up on it. So I'm going to be the one. Like hell, like if I'm the only one, I really don't give a fuck. It is what it is. I'm just going to say the truth. Be careful. And yeah, Ubisoft sucks. This game is going to fail. That's all I got for you today. So peace. Sorry.